reeling across the top of the water, sometimes you there'll there be another there redfish there right next Oh, yeah. There'll be another redfish right next to him or something. I'll let him sniff that one out. Oh, yeah, here we go. You're on the right side of him. I don't know, but if you if, if you cast, you need to cast almost over the He's top of his tail. He's in that grass. You cast over the top of his tail. There you go, there you go, there you go. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh. He's going to it. He's tailing on it. Oh, my gosh. I think he just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good fish. That is a good That's fit. That's the time we've been looking for. <laughs> yeah, another one right next to him, too. Heck yeah. The cooperative ones. <laughs> Even that one, though. You know, the, fit, the shrimp was right in front of him, and he still took a little while. For how long? Nice redfish, though, dude. This That's one, a good redfish. This is probably my biggest one out of the no motor zone up here. That's a good fish. There's that music we love to hear. I think he just realized he might have been hooked. <laughs> Tell you what, Captain Carl, your rod is performing well, brother. Captain Carl's a member of our forum. We got a forum on, on our website that everybody goes and talks and trades out fishing secrets and whatnot. For you guys out there that don't know about the forum, go to the forum, check it out. It's addictedfishing.com. We've got a button right there on the website. It says forum. Oh, talk about fishing all you want. Rich, you said it's been what, since before 9-11 since you've been up here? Absolutely. They gotten better or worse since then? Uh, you know, they're just a little cold, but man, there's fish everywhere. It's amazing. There's reds and drum together. There's trout. Everything's up here. It's just a little cold. Well, Mother Nature has finally cooperated with us. I mean, if you saw the scenario, we're fishing the big fish the same as the small fish. But Richard, this is definitely a grown one. Yeah, this is a big one. Remember what I call it, right? Mogan. <laughs> Mogan Red. See, I don't have to say it all the time on the show. <laughs> I don't say it near as much as I used to. At least last year I didn't. We didn't get that many big fish last year. It was a tough fishing. It What's tough. neat is when you're up here, you know, there's there's multiple fish together tailing, so you could have double ups all the time. If you if you had two guys fishing, it would be real easy to come up here and say one, two, three, go, and then each person throw out and, and double up. We'll get a rod in his hand soon enough. You get, <laughs> you get my drift? <laughs> I think Richard wants to fish. Is there any other place like this? That is this much square area of no motor zone that you that you know of? There is a ton of no motor zones around. That's one thing I kind of wanted to touch on today too is the conservation that these no motor zones basically supply to your area. Is you got these big broodstock redfish like this, and they'll just they breed and they restock the area basically with reds. This guy's just having his way with us right now. Ain't he? <laughs> Beat me up. You think that's a full grown one? Heck yeah, it's full grown. <laughs> if you look at the size of the head on this one, like I said that up here a few years ago when I had a black drum big on, big on the boat. Come here, dude. God, they, just, they get docile when they're ready to give up, don't they? Nice fish, mm. nice fish. I say docile. <sighs> nice fish. That is a beauty. Head like a mailbox. <laughs> head like my pit bull. Ow. Laser sharp did the job again. Oh, mama! Now that is a redfish. And that's the way you kiss one, too. <laughs> well, thank you, Richard. Oh, yeah. Well, you want to you touch this one since you were a major part of it? <laughs> that's a nice one. I'll get you some tail. Pretty fish. <laughs> pretty fish. Look at the size of that tail. Ah, oh, nice one. Look how thick that fish is. That's a big fish. It really is. It's pretty. You know, a lot of times people go back and forth like this when they're reviving a fish. But when you got big fish like this, if you kind of go, I'm saying this to the viewers out there, I know you know. But if you go back and forth with them like this, that lactic acid builds up in these big redfish. And you want to make sure that they're going to swim away good. Kind of like that. There you go. Try not to rub. Try not to rub him too much, but make sure you get that all that lactic acid out of their tails or out of their meat there before you let them go, because a lot of times they'll flip right over on their back, 
and they'll end up dying that way. So you just want to make sure they swim off good. Richard. <laughs> that was a heck of a That fish, was a lot brother. of fun. I think I'd go for another one of those. Heck yeah. Finally starting to get warm. I think I'm going to put my shorts on. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. <laughs>